Welcome, friends, to Holy Week. Today we begin our devotions to accompany Jesus on the final week before his death and resurrection. Clearly, we know how this week was a gift he gave for us. As we journey with Jesus, what can we notice about our Savior as he progresses towards this painful week? Can we give him the gift of our loving presence as we walk with him? How can we companion with him on his journey to rescue us? When they arrived back in Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people buying and selling animals for sacrifices. He knocked over the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those selling doves, and he stopped everyone from using the temple as a marketplace. He said to them, the scriptures declare, my temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you've turned it into a den of thieves. When the leading priests and teachers of the religious law heard what Jesus had done, They began planning how to kill him, but they were afraid of him because the people were so amazed at his teaching. Mark 11, 15 through 18. As Jesus walked into the city of Jerusalem, he approached and then entered the temple. There in the midst of this holy sanctuary, he noticed the commerce, the bargaining, the people. The city would have been filled with travelers and a diversity of people from all over the land coming to the city to honor God with their offerings during Passover. Suddenly, Jesus erupts with anger and causes what would be a holy disruption. Tables were turned over, money and vendors scatter, and the multitude of those standing by were startled by the commotion. Those who had created an industry out of taking advantage of God's people were called out for their selfish greed. My temple will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you've turned it into a den of thieves. A thief is one who takes what isn't theirs, and Jesus was filled with rage at the sin that had filled this temple, this place of prayer. The Bible refers to our bodies as being temples. Our very being, our inner life, is a sacred place where God resides. The Holy Spirit will at time disrupt challenge and convict us when we step off the path that God may have prepared for us. Out of his great love for each of us, God calls out and may even disrupt the thief that would steal our peace, joy, and the fullness of life that's ours in Christ. Those times may feel as disruptive as the day in the temple with Jesus so long ago. Everything can feel like it's being tumbled over and lost. But it is in those times that we are restored. We are brought to a place of realization, conviction, confession, forgiveness, and renewed dependence. Our temple becomes a house of prayer again. Sit sit today and spend some time evaluating your inner temple. Is there an area where you need God to help you clean your sanctuary? Can you freely loosen your hold on those areas that are interfering with the presence and purpose that God has for you? Confess your need for God's help in restoring any area that the thief has taken from you. Receiving his help and rest in the arms of his mercy and grace, knowing that yes, you are his beloved. Let's close with this verse from Isaiah 44, 22. I have swept away your sins like a cloud. I have scattered your offenses like the morning mist. Oh, return to me, for I have paid the price to set you free.